اسمي ستيفاني عكاوي هيوز أنا من بيروت لبنان عايشة هلا بهولندا بأمستردام وأنا مهندسة و... وأنا هلا ببرشلونة. Um, this is actually my fifth EBBF conference. I think it's a very unique conference in the sense that it brings business and personal and ethical values uh, in one place. And it's a, very, it's a very practical conversation in that sense of uh, we still operate in this world with the same systems and the same paradigms. And the question is, well, how can we do that while contributing? How can we do that while having a positive impact? Uh, and I think these questions have a really beautiful balance of practical answering needs and still being able to actually have you know, impact in the big picture as well as on the individual level, um, which I think is what is needed for us to, uh, to move forward. The topic of this conference is actually co-creating sustainable wealth. Uh, and of course, from that comes many questions. What is wealth? What is sustainable wealth? And what is co-creation? And how can we do that? Um, I myself is an architect, so I'm actually very interested in also looking at what are the dynamics and the environments in which we can co-create in order to co-create that sustainable wealth. So I, in my mind, it always kind of goes back to um, physical environments and social dynamics as well. About a year ago, I figured the way architecture is in this world wasn't, wasn't enough for what I thought it, the potential of it would be. I call that architecting interaction. And architecting interaction really wants to put the emphasis on the interaction and turn architecture from an end to basically a tool. Um, and the whole question that we ask uh, in our work, in our approach, in our designs, in our uh, consulting is really how can we design whatever we are designing in a way that triggers interaction. And you see that's very linked to the topic of the conference as well because when you interact, this is the basic ingredient to be able to co-create. And this is where value comes from actually the contribution of more than one person. Thank you very much. A desire I have for, for people, for the world, and also for myself. Being able to think fresh, that's what I mean by innovation. It's not about gadgets and it's not about you know technology, which is all part of it, but that's not enough. The real value isn't just thinking fresh. We have issues today we didn't have yesterday's and we won't have tomorrow. So answers are only as you know as valuable as their time and after that the question is the same and the answer has to be different so you have to think again and think fresh and and there's a beauty in doing that together there's a beauty in doing that through a conversation